Boyfriend, 33 meters, rages at me, 28 F. My boyfriend and I have been together nearly two years. After the honeymoon phase, about six months in, his yelling became an issue. He has been working on it, and with improvement, but he still gets in these really scary rages that make me feel like shit. He has never raised a hand against me or anyone. I am not in physical danger. The emotional toll is what I'm writing about here. For example, this morning we got in an argument. I wasn't feeling heard he was feeling misunderstood. So in usual fashion we dealt with his feelings first. Then, we move on to try to talking about my feelings. Every time we do he takes offense from something and we end up arguing about something totally different, and I still haven't got to express my feelings. Today, I told him I didn't want to tell him how I felt because it didn't matter what I said. He said he would just listen and not talk. Then I tried to tell him how I felt again and he ends up screaming at me. He couldn't stop. I literally told him, get the fuck out of my house, this is not okay, and held the damn door open for him. When we're not in an argument, of course, he is incredibly loving, kind, and supportive. My question is, have I ended up in an emotionally abusive relationship here? Where is the line between healthy expression of anger and mistreatment of one's partner? Feeling pretty bad over here. Too long didn't read, does my boyfriend's anger mean I'm in an unhealthy relationship? So in usual fashion we dealt with his feelings first. Then, we move on to try to talking about my feelings. Every time we do he takes offense from something and we end up arguing about something totally different. So he can control himself long enough to get his issues resolved, but as soon as it comes to you and your needs his anger issues mysteriously surface. That's not a coincidence, it's a pattern. He doesn't care about what you need out of the relationship, only what he needs. He chooses to behave abusively to get out of having to listen to you. Does he do this to his boss? His friends suspect he doesn't and thus you know he chooses to do this to you. You know this is not acceptable. Reframe it. Imagine some stranger comes up to you in the street and starts shouting at you. Would you try to get away? Maybe call the cops? Don't let yourself be treated worse by him, than you would accept being treated by a stranger. A romantic partner is supposed to be the one you feel safest with. Someone who rages out like that cannot be trusted. Rages normal emotion but it matters how you express it. He can presumably control it if he doesn't do it to his boss, so he's using it as a tool of intimidation and control. That is abuse. You say he's improving but it's not enough. It's not your duty to endure the abuse and martyr yourself, while he fixes himself. If he ever does, it's very common for abusive men to make minor changes to keep a victim on the hook but never really deal with the problem. Maybe once he can say he'll never do it again and can prove it, he'll be someone who can have a healthy relationship. Just don't wait around for a day that might not come. And it, this is very emotionally abusive. Backslash have I ended up in an emotionally abusive relationship here? Yes, you have, I am so sorry. As someone who has been in a relationship like that, please get out. Emotional and verbal abuse can do as much or more damage than physical abuse, and it very often leads to physical abuse anyway. He started abusing you after just six weeks. That is terrifying. You need to get out safely, which means doing it when he isn't home and not seeing him afterwards. My abusive ex fiance had never laid a hand on me until the day I left him, and that's when he tried to strangle me to death. You are in danger if you stay or if you break up with him in person. Does my boyfriend's anger mean I'm in an unhealthy relationship? Absolutely does. Abusers aren't jerks 100% of the time, that's how they hook and keep a partner. Google the cycle of abuse to see what it looks like, you'll find your relationship fits the profile, I have no doubt. Raging at your partner is abusive. People can have disagreements without it devolving into screaming. The unhealthy part is definitely his reaction. Cause a couple should be able to talk about how they each feel, without it resulting in a screaming contest. I made a fake account to see if he would cheat on me. What should I do? I, F25, and he, M37, have been together for two years. I know this is wrong, 
but I got suspicious after I simply touched his phone and he got super defensive and angry. I made a fake account on a dating app and I found him. We matched and after talking during the morning, he works in the morning, so he wasn't at home when the conversation was going on, I asked if he was looking for a relationship or friendship in that app, and he answered relationship is my first option I felt so low and betrayed. Then I asked him when was his last relationship and he said one year ago. I told him my last relationship ended after I moved to his country and found out he was cheating on me. After that message he doesn't respond and texts the real me good morning on whatsapp instead. At the end of the day he has stopped talking to the fake account, but don't know what to think. Could it mean he is still cheating on me with other girls or does this mean he thought that fake girl was me? Or did he realize he was doing me wrong and decided not to text this girl anymore? Too long didn't read. I made a fake account on the dating app to see if he would cheat on me, he said he was looking for a relationship and his last relationship was one year ago. The fake account said her man cheated on her and he stopped texting, he instead texted me. Could he be still cheating or did he realize he did me wrong? What should you do? You break up. Break up. That is cheating even if it didn't progress. He was actively trying to get into a relationship, while dating you and he denies he is with you in the first place. That's cheating behind your back. It won't get better, he has been lying to you this whole time, and if he does confess that's only because he was caught. Now imagine how long he has been hiding this move on. He's in a relationship with you but on a dating app. Gain some self-esteem. True. He shouldn't be on the dating app to begin with. Thank you for your reply. You worried he wasn't trustworthy, and now you know he is not trustworthy. I would simply break up. And yes, it does look like he is actively trying to cheat on you, and may already have done so. He just stopped talking to your fake account which does not mean he isn't talking to other people. This right here doesn't sound like you were being much fun to talk to because you were complaining about a past breakup. The other girls he's talking to will be more fun. Dump his ass. You're 25 and he's 37 and he's already planning on cheating on you and thinking you're brain dead and would be naive about it. Move on, he wanted to get in the pants of whoever was writing him eventually, for sure he's not been messaging there for the first time and he might be doing this with multiple women, your fake account being one of them. You don't need an almost 40 years old cheater in your life. Love yourself. Should I, 30F, quit my romance book club for the sake of my marriage, 30M? Ideally there'd be a third option other than quit the book club or continue as I am right now, but that's what I'm hoping to find out from y'all. I've been kinda lonely for a few years now. My husband and I, married 5 years together 12 total, moved to a new state shortly before the pandemic started, so I don't really have any in-person friends. I occasionally text old friends but they're busy. I like to read but this past year has made me weary of the highbrow literature I used to read, so 4 or 5 months ago I joined a romance book club on Instagram. We read silly rom-coms and romance novels and discuss them. It's a lot of fun and outside of work, these women are really the only non-family members I talk to regularly. Turns out I also really love romance novels slash rom-coms. All the fun, sexual tension, etc. I'll pick one up and for a few hours I don't feel like a frumpy nearly middle-aged woman with a stressful job. I can imagine myself as young, cute, quirky, desirable, with some hunky man that desires me. I love my husband, and he loves me. But we don't have sexual tension. We have sex maybe once or twice a month, normally when we're bored. The sex is good, I don't have any complaints really, but I can take it or leave it most of the time. He feels similarly. And before this book club, I wouldn't have thought twice about it. But now I find myself getting irritated with him. I have an increase in sex drive but not really for him. So I bought a vibrator. He walked in on me me with it once and was amused. I just felt embarrassed. But yeah, sometimes I just look at him and I think why doesn't he want me? Again, 
This never used to really bother me before the book club. So I feel like these romance novels are giving me unrealistic expectations and for the good of my marriage I should quit the book club. But at the same time, I really enjoy reading the books and the camaraderie of the other women. It's a small bright spot, you know? Is there anything else I can do to reset my expectations and not be irritable with my husband over something that isn't his fault? Too long didn't read, joined romance book club due to pandemic loneliness made me wish my dynamic with husband wasn't so sexless not sure what the next move here is you are only 30 do you really want to go the rest of your life with a mediocre sex life and a partner who has no interest in even discussing possibilities and is just okay settling it seems like it's not a quantity issues but a quality issue for you and that is a problem and not dumb to try to improve you're right you can't make someone want to have sex more but the one to two times a month should have some effort and fun and i really don't think that's too much to ask I also want to point out your language about yourself in this post Again, you are 30. You have a lot of time before middle-aged. It doesn't sound like you love yourself very much. Work on improving your own self-image and loving yourself. You are young. So was your husband your only partner? You are kinda talking like y'all are 70 years old and dead from the waist down. You know that there are plenty of 30 plus couples that do wild shit like go to kink clubs, or have fun adult vacations or whatever, right? Did you guys never have a phase where you were both very mutually interested in each other sexually? Like, what's your background here? I mean, you don't have to choose one over the other. Just sit down with your husband and, I'd look at Moj upgrade together or whatever and just have a very frank conversation about it. It's not going to kill either of you to be like hey can we try this sometime or hey, I don't feel super desired by you, can you do xyz to show me or something? Are you having orgasms when you guys do have sex? You seem super indifferent. I think that you're kind of ignoring, including in your comments, the elephant in the room you want a more satisfying sex life. And your husband doesn't really seem interested in working with you to make it more satisfying. Marriage requires effort from both participants to succeed. I think that this is something that you should tackle and perhaps even something like couples counseling because you're not on the same page. The romance book club isn't the culprit, it's just exposing an underlying issue. I don't feel like a frumpy nearly middle-aged woman with a stressful job. I can imagine myself as young, cute, quirky, desirable, with some hunky man that desires me. This sounds like you're 60, not 30. You've been together since you were 18, your sex life is boring, and you're socially isolated. It's possible your relationship with your husband is more akin to roommates than spouses. You have limited dating experience. Your husband isn't keen to change up your sex life. Your book club gives you friendship, fun, and sexual escapism. Anyone in your position would feel the same way, although the escapism of choice would vary. I'd say the real issue here is you're socially isolated in a sexless relationship and feel old before your time. I'd rather be single. What advice? Just how I feel as an outsider reading this. To me, there's an obvious third choice. Work on your relationship slash sex life with your husband. Have a talk about it, check out Mojo Upgrade, see a sex therapist. Your expectations are pretty reasonable for a long-term romantic relationship, and I would water the grass where you are before resigning yourself to anything. If your husband isn't interested in spicing things up, that's another problem, and unrelated to the book club at the end of the day. 